through rain or sleet or hail or dark of night, they will get your mail to you. What happened? What happened to that? Why can't I have my mail? The woman you just heard from from Brownsville, she is living with cerebral palsy her entire life. And after more than two decades of door delivery services to accommodate her, she now finds herself having to rely on others to get her mail. She says the help she was receiving came to an end following new leadership at the U.S. Postal Service office that serves her area. She called Fav in your side for help. Channel 5's Rudy Mireles answered the call. Oftentimes things like just going out to grab your mail real quick are so easy that it's a task we take for granted. But unfortunately for some of our neighbors in our community, it's not as simple. My name is Penny Metcalf and I've lived here 41 years. Born with cerebral palsy, Penny Metcalf has always endured challenges. Some natural barriers to her way of life, others caused by people. They tried to discourage me from finishing my, my degree at the last semester saying I wasn't going to be able to perform my job as a deaf education teacher. So when she moved into this house 21 years ago, she was looking for help. There's no accessibility to the mailbox. How am I going to do this? Other people can drive by, jump out of the car, get a, I can't do that. Her mailbox. A 600 step round trip on the sidewalk that's full of obstacles like this giant brush pile, but the walk continues around the corner. It's a tough trip to make even with a powered wheelchair. That's when her neighbor, a USPS delivery person, told her about hardship door delivery services. And for the last 21 years, she's had her mail delivered right to her front door. A crucial service that Metcalf relies on even more these days, thanks to the pandemic and a cancer diagnosis four years ago. Communicating with MD Anderson in Houston, I have to be able to pay my bills on time. I have to see what they are. So when she got this notice, telling her that mail would have to be picked up at the neighborhood box, she was upset. Hoping for some help, she went to the post office. She said, well, you have people to help you, so no, you don't have a hardship. The person to help the USPS supervisor referred to Metcalf's pregnant daughter, temporarily staying at the home while Metcalf prepares to be a grandmother for the first time. And she says the supervisor added insult to injury as Metcalf struggled on her way out. You want to open the door for me, but you want to take the key from me from having access to my mail. We reached out to the United States Postal Service to see if we can get Metcalf some help. This morning, a representative emailed us to tell us they were looking into her issue. But for Metcalf, this is about more than just her needs. And while she hopes the Brownsville Post Office will come around, she says it's her community she's most worried for. It's important to us to have as much independence as possible, whether we were born with it, whether we acquired it, or whether we just got old and our bodies don't that. work anymore. And you're not getting that from the post office right now? Not. I am not. Mm -mm. There's many more people that maybe even have a worse situation than I do that really need that help. As we said, we did reach out to the U.S. Postal Service yesterday and just a short while ago finally got a response in regards to our question. They say, quote, in this specific case regarding hardship delivery for a local Brownsville customer, the situation was successfully resolved and delivery for this customer has resumed. We regret any inconvenience that may have been experienced, end quote. So over the coming days, we'll check in with Metcalf to make sure that that mail is in fact coming to that door right there. In Brownsville, Rudy Medellis, Channel 5 News at 6.